WebCart is an integrated system for email, bboards, and the web. The user interface is based on folders, where an item in a folder can be a mail message, a news article, or a web page. As a folder-based email reader, WebCart is conventional. At any given time, one message from the open folder is displayed in the lower pane of the WebCard window. I can respond to the selected message. I can forward it. I can compose a new message, delete the message, and copy or move the message to another folder. I can also perform standard folder operations, such as creating new folders, rescanning the contents of a folder, sorting a folder, and deleting folders. WebCart handles bboards in the same way. A folder whose name refers to a news group will contain the postings to that news group. I can respond to a news article by using the reply button, copy postings to folders, and so on. The only difference between a news group folder and any other folder is that news group folders are read only. That is, messages can neither be deleted from a news folder nor copied into a news folder. Whenever a mail message or a news article contains a URL, the URL is highlighted in blue. When I click on the URL, RebCard retrieves and displays the web page. Let's go back to my inbox now, where there's a message about the new web server put out by L.L. Bean. Let's follow that link, and now go into About L.L. Bean, and from here, the company behind the catalog, and finally, the story of L.L. Bean. As with traditional web browsers, I can go back among the pages I've visited and forward again. WebCard is multi-threaded, so even while a page is downloading, the system remains active. WebCard's primary innovation is that it treats the current web page just like a mail message or news article. In particular, I can copy or move it to an arbitrary folder. Thus, Folders are a general-purpose way to group related pages. My Zeus folder contains various email messages about the Zeus system. It also has copies of various postings to the Modula 3 news group, and it also has some web documents. Here is the Zeus homepage. The Zeus homepage, like many homepages, contains lots of links. To explore each one is rather tedious. I click on a link. I go back. I click on another link, I go back, and so on. WebCard lets me detach an item from a folder and temporarily display it in a separate pane. When a detached item is a web page, I can click on links in the detached page and the newly retrieved page appears in the other pane, rather than obscuring the detached pane. Thus, I can have the home page visible for an extended period. Moreover, I can follow another chain of links on the non-detached page. Netscape's frames appear to share some of the nice properties of our detached pages. Because WebCard is multi-threaded, I can click ahead on links in the detached page. WebCard makes systematic exploration of links on a page even easier. The autosurf command traverses every link on a particular page and returns all resulting pages in a new folder. We've just auto-surfed the Zeus homepage, and we have now lots more pages about algorithm animation and program visualization, favorite topics of mine. We used to call this command expand one level, but we've recently adopted Mosaic's terminology of auto-surf. We have also explored ways to make better rendering of HTML documents. The technique I'd like to show you now is called zippers. Here is the HTML version of the WIST 95 tech note about this system. Although the paper is only two conference pages long, I find it very frustrating to read the paper as a continuous scroll. I'll now go down to the pull-down menu and turn on the zippers. The document is now displayed in an outline form. I can open and close various sections at will. Let's now look at a larger document. This is a paper about Deckscape, a browser that we also built here at the Systems Research Center. What's interesting about this document 
is that this section, a tour of Deckscape, contains four subsections. Each of those subsections can be opened and closed. And when one opens and closes the section containing the subsection, the state of the subsections is remembered. However, I can override this behavior by shift-clicking, which I'll do now to close the entire document. Although zippers are an obvious match for papers, they also seem to work surprisingly well in many other instances. Here, for example, is a circ home page with zippers. In summary, I hope that the ideas introduced in WebCard will help to advance the state of the art in web browsers, and that some of the techniques we've explored will find their way into your favorite browser.